Good morning. I saw this undercover video. It's a United Nations lawyer. And the name is on the video of the guy, right? I don't know who this guy is. But uh, I have no doubts. This is the truth, right? From what he's saying, I understand. This is the truth. So he's sitting there, maybe had a few drinks, feeling safe. And he's just talking, right? And he would never say anything like this in public. Of course not. But he believes he's safe. And he feels good. So he's to he talks. <laughs> uh, so he says, I'm the definition of a globalist. One of the objectives of the United Nations is to create an identity of a global citizen. And, of course, I understand this is the truth. You do too, I believe. Now, all these lines going up to the United Nations, it's like the center of globalism, isn't it? And they said, he says, uh, the, the United Nations is the closest we ever got to a world government. And then he gets to talk about Trump. And this is where it's becoming sort of silly and hilarious. He says, I'm not sure the United Nations as an institution is going to survive a second term with Donald Trump. Right. He says, the purpose of Donald Trump is to end the international institutions. Right. No, it's about America. It's about you know, America first, all that stuff. He's talking about this. And then the end of this is this. He, we are terrified, he said. And I thought they were, actually, I thought they were terrified. And he says they are. And he says absolutely nobody in the United Nations wants Trump. Nobody wants Trump. And that's what I thought. And this is what he says. Now, what's so silly about this thing, of course, is that they think it's about Trump, right? When it's really about the people. They should be terrified, they, and I think they are terrified of the people, but they, they think it's Trump, right? So they think, we just stop Trump and things will be fine. <laughs> That's why it's so silly, I think. But, you know, I think this is how they think. We just have to stop Trump, right? And it's not hard to predict this. They will try. <laughs> well, they have tried in the past. They even tried to kill him, right? And they will try again, I'm quite sure. And they will try to steal the next election and put Kamala Harris in the White House. You know, I have a feeling, I don't know if this is, I just have this feeling that they will do it. You know, they will actually steal the election. I hope I'm wrong. I think I hope I'm wrong. I, I don't know. If they steal the election, this next one, I thought maybe this is a good thing. Because I'm totally convinced it's not about Trump. He just happens to be there now, you see. And he sort of got the support from the people, and he represents the people. And he's sort of a decent guy, right? But it's not about him. No, it's about the people. Hap this is happening with the people. So I think this is uh, fascinating. Uh, I, I just have to say, I had some problems with bit shoot yesterday. I don't know if I will have the same problems today. So the video that I made yesterday was published now, you know, this morning. So some problems again with BitChute. This is unfortunate. I don't like it. See, I, and I don't know what's going on with BitChute. 
I get suspicious, you see. BitChute is a great platform and they have been strong for, for many years now, right? So I sort of trust BitChute to work and when it doesn't work I get frustrated. So I hope it will be okay today. Right. Be good.